Hey everyone, my name is Jordan Sutton and I'm the author of Take Back What the Devil Has Stolen From You. And as you can see, I'm actually just outside today. I'm actually not going to show my face. I'm actually just going to um, try to make this video quick, but we'll see where it goes. But something that the Lord was telling me, and it's something that he's been telling me for a, for a long time, but it just kept resurfacing, I guess, because um, when I'm looking at relationship coach videos and um, when I'm looking at their content and I'm looking at the comments and I'm, you know, scrolling down. And there's a couple of times where I had commented on some of the videos by certain life coaches or relationship coaches. And I noticed some of the women in the comments. Um, it's like everything they most of everything that they they will agree with a relationship coach even if it's something that's even if it's something that should be questioned even if it's something that should be challenged or even if it's something that should uh spiritually and morally convict them they will still go along and agree with what that life coach or relationship coach is saying even if it don't sit right with them in their spirit because what I'm sensing is some of them are so desperate and some of them want a man so bad that it doesn't matter what comes out of the relationship coach mouth. Um, it, it, you know, no matter how bothersome or offensive um, it may be. Now, some people may say, oh, well, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's the truth. Um, if it ain't matching that word, it ain't the truth. You know, so that's how I'm, that's kind of how I'm seeing it. That's kind of how I'm looking at it. But anyway, something, again, let me just reiterate. He just, the Lord was just telling me. And I was looking at so many of the comments, you know, of them just agreeing with everything that this man was just saying. And I mean, you had some that was disagreeing, but this is a common pattern that I see on a lot of relationship coach um, videos. And listen, let me also add in this disclaimer. I know all relationship coaches are not saved. I know all relationship coaches are not uh going to see things through the bible i know they're not christians i know that they're going to come with a worldly point of view you know what i'm saying I, I do understand that all of them don't identify as that so i do understand that part and that issue but for those that are those that are now uh, what he was just saying to me was we got to be careful that we don't replace the word of god with anybody else's voice with anybody else's word we cannot replace his voice and replace the word. And listen, he do send people. He do send people as tools and resources, um, as assistance to get you towards him, to get you to move closer to him, to get you to move into the right direction. So I do understand that. But what I saw in a lot of these comments, if you disagree with something that this relationship coach said or anything, um, some of them, you know, some of them will like it. Some of them will say, I, you know, they agree. But for those that disagree, and it was obviously, you know, something that needed to be pointed out, they'll still go along with it and say, no, I don't agree. We need to find, we need to know more about the male's perspective, the male's perspective, the male's perspective. We need to know more about the male's perspective. Like, they don't care if the man's saying something out of the way. They don't care if the male, the man is saying something that don't line up. They don't care if the man is saying something that they know deep down in their heart is wrong. They're going to still follow along with it because I believe some of them are so desperate just to get a man just to have a man that they're going to follow and go along with whatever um, that relationship coach say. And it's a lot of them like that, right? So what he told me was we got to be careful that we don't replace God's word with man's word. We got to be careful that we don't replace God's word and what he says and what he wants us to do and follow over someone that just because we can see them physically, just because what they say sometimes may appease our flesh and what we want to hear and sometimes what we don't want to hear he said regardless get what you need from it but he said don't replace his word another thing he was saying was be cautious and be careful there's a lot of women that worship the male's perspective mm -hmm. that's what he told me he said there's a lot of them that worship the male's perspective every it's like the the male's perspective can do no wrong the male's perspective is always right and if you disagree with it, it's because you can't handle the truth. That's not, that, that is fictional. Mm, sorry about that, y'all. It cut off. But what I was saying was, I guess we had to make a part two to this. He said, th th that's fictional. You can't always say, if something spiritually convicts you, it spiritually convicts you. But we can't say that everything that's disrespectful and offensive is the truth. That's a lie. It's a lie. So I just want to get up here real quick and just say, 
we got to be cautious and careful women, especially that's seeking to be in a relationship or, you know, having a desire to be married. Do not worship the male's perspective. Don't worship anybody's perspective. Let me say that. Don't worship anybody's perspective. But do not replace his word over what a man in his flesh says. Do not replace his word. We can't do that. Mm-mm. And I'm just on my back porch. But we cannot replace his word. We cannot replace his word, y'all. Just because the man got this and the man got, you know, he's married and he got this and he got that, you know, just for some of them. Or because, you know, they got a certain look and they must have all this expertise and knowledge and wisdom. And and then what I'm finding out is most of them giving you single advice, but none of them being single. You know what I'm saying? You know how uh, married couples will say, you know, they don't want single people giving married, married couples advice. They're absolutely right. They, they're right. They can be right. And sometimes you don't got to be in everything to see. Um, sometimes you do need an outside perspective. Because if you're in it, you might be too blind. And it may take somebody from the outside to look at it and give you that assessment. But for the most part, you can understand where they're coming from when they say that. It may not feel too good. It may not, you know, you may not agree with it all. But you, you can understand. Okay, well, how is it okay for a man who has never been single who is always laid around. And listen, God can do anything with anyone and use anyone. But I'm just saying how a man that was never single can tell you how to date correctly. When he didn't date correctly, how can a man tell you? See what I'm saying? And then when you question some of these things, when you question some of these things, they look at you like you're the one that's just trying to cause division. You, they look at you like you're the one that's just trying to cause conflict. You're just trying to be... Uh, you know, a pain, like you're just trying to be troublesome in the comments or whatever. But sometimes they need to ask these questions and say, hey, if they never been in this place, if they never really been in this position long term, especially, how can they tell you? You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, it's not for all of them, but it's just something again, because I know when I was commenting and I said, well, what's the, you know, on one of these, on one of these relationship coach videos, I said, how a married man. Happily married man is supposed to be so invested into a single's house. To me, he has no business investing so much time in a single house. Now, I get people are going to say, well, you know, he just wants to show you the world and show you what's out there and show you um, from a different outlooks and perspectives of other single-minded people. And, you know, what you're going to be in the world, what you may have to deal with and all of this stuff like that. But at the same time... For the brother to call himself a Christian and it was just a straight up worldly cast with all this cussing and all that there. It's like, well, why didn't you do some of the Christians? Why didn't you do a, a Christian show that was, you know what I'm saying? And they, yeah, they could talk about their struggles and their pains and they, like it would have just been so much more relatable. But that mess that I saw, I mean, child, I could just go on Viacom. You know what I'm saying? I could just look at Viacom shows, VH1. I could just look at love and hip hop. If I want to see some filth. If I want to see some film, I could just go up there to BT Plus with some of them shows. I could go up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's basically, if I want to see, but if I want to see something different and like, okay, I want to see somebody in my place. I want to see somebody in my situation. It just feel like, dang. <laughs> like, this worldly cast, and yes, you can be around these kind of people, but that don't mean you got to conform. That don't mean that. It's justifiable and excusable not to get better and to grow and to, you know what I'm saying, to improve. So that's what I was just saying on that. So I just noticed that there was a couple of girl, women in the comments. Oh, we need to know from a male's perspective. Oh, we need to know. Like, and God was telling me, and I heard worship of the male's perspective. This man can say, dry, I'm not going to say it, this particular man, but a, a, a relationship coach man can say, drive off the cliff and you're going to have a man. Some of them might really just drive off the cliff. Sis, where is your wisdom and common sense set and all of the things that the, the Lord has gave you certain devices as well? Use them. So I said, I'm going to just stick to reading my word. I said, because some of these coaches and things, they will lead you astray. And I get it. And for some of them, it is a business. For some, not all, but just for some of them, it is a business. 
And so you got to be very cautious again who you give your ear to, who you're lending your ear to. And don't reject wisdom just because you want to know everything got to be from a male's perspective. Even when they ain't, even when they ain't never been in it. Even though they're not in this dating world. Even if they ain't got to face the same type of oppositions and challenges as you do. But from the male's perspective, they can take, come, come on now. But y'all, that's all I have to say. Um, that's something, just to make it short, just to wrap this thing up, just to do a little recap. He told me a lot of women are worshiping the male's perspective. You don't worship anyone's perspective. Not me, not nobody. Okay, but he said, because that's a lot of, you notice a lot of opposition when you go in them comments. Oh, well, we need to know from a male's perspective. Oh, we need, even if the brother ain't never been in it, even if the brother ain't never been in your shoes. Yeah, he can say, yeah, he can say that from afar. He didn't have to, he didn't have to do it. He didn't have to go through it. Yeah, he can say that. Yeah, he can tell you that he didn't have to, he didn't have to keep himself. He didn't, oh, excuse me, he didn't choose to keep himself. He knew what it was. The word of God was still there. I don't want to hear that it wasn't a, a lot of relationship videos back then. And it wasn't, a, it, but the word was still there. The conscience of right or wrong was always still there. So that's all I want to just say. Be careful. Do not worship the male's perspective. Don't worship anybody's perspective. And don't replace his word over anyone's. Okay? Don't replace his work because there's a lot of women doing it because I'm sensing the desperation of them. They want a man in a relationship so bad that they don't care. If, even if it even if it don't sound right, they're not going to challenge it. They're not going to say everything. They're in agreement with everything. Even if it, it, it's something that conflicts, it's something that causes conflict. And not for the better and for change or for the grow, but it's and also be careful. Don't listen to these people that are verbally abusing you and, and bashing you. That's the difference between somebody telling the truth. Excuse me, I had it got me a cup. I need to just use my um stand because that probably would have been a little bit better instead of using my hands. But yes, y'all. Just wanna let you know. Be cautious, be careful. Um do your own, read your own word, seek him for yourself. Don't always try to use somebody else to seek, to seek him by. You know what I'm saying? Just be cautious. That's what he was telling me. I'm going to go ahead and try to wrap this up. That's what he was telling me. Do not worship the male's perspective. Don't worship anybody's perspective. But be very cautious, again, who you're lending your ear to. Is it drawing you closer to him or is it removing you away from him? You know, like, don't be afraid to question and challenge something. And then the person that does challenge and question something that, you know, in a respectful manner, don't jump down their throats. Oh, it's the male's perspective. Don't do, don't do that to them. And they done gave you this word and they done, they done basically, you know what it is, but you're going to turn a blind eye and say, oh, well, the male's perspective. It's the male's perspective. Oh, we got that. Oh, it's very important. We need to know. <laughs> All right, then. Well, anyways, I know this is not normally a video I would do, but God bless y'all. Remember that the best is yet to come. And remember what I said. Don't worship anybody's perspective. Not me. Not the person next door. Not your mom. Not, don't worship anybody. There's nothing wrong with listening to reasonable advice. But at the same time, let's not replace anybody's word with the word of God. And that's all I have to say. Please click on the links below, like, share, and subscribe. And remember that the best is still yet to come, y'all. And um, keep on going and keep on growing. Amen. All right, till the next video.